How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Once again, we have another day where Pink Fox is very busy. On her own, she's actually out doing some uh, delivery services at the moment. Uh, one called Instacart, specifically, is one she likes working on. But I digress. Let's get to the reading. While she's working, we'll be working on the stuff that, you know, she didn't really 100% want to get in on the action on every single time anyway. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind, and this we've already heard about. So, this part, I believe, is the same, except for the fact that replace um, Yuri with, like, replace Natsuki from the first time around with Yuri, and it is basically the same thing. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Oh, thank goodness. You're, you're a little early. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. I can't... I'm, I'm a better, better on it. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when, when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have... Te you always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more... On my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that. For some reason. I mean, you're an introvert. That's kind of how introverts act. I would know. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you. Uh, n no. I, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Are you implying something? Well, who am I kidding? Something probably is gonna happen. <laughs> Shh! Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh... <laughs> That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look at that. Oh, whoops, that's not Yuri. Yuri moved her facial expression, so I thought it was her. Damn it! Wait, don't look at that. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, I I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. What is the guy's manga in there or something? Anybody who's been following along or seen Natsuki's route already knows that this guy likes manga. 
Although, for someone who likes manga, that's a lot of normal literature books. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. Weird. Ah, controller died. For some reason, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, well, I've got a backup plan. Give me one second. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was this one that I... Whatever. Whatever. Um... Thank heavens for these type of controllers that have USB ports on the other end. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as it yes, that. So, um... Should we get started? Oh! Yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. Mood lighting or aromather aromatherapy candles? Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it th that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Wow. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way of putting it. Is that a, a bad thing? In your case, Yuri, 50-50. You have your moments. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Okay, then. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Good. <laughs> yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. Okay. I did some shopping on the way here. So I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the window in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Did I just read her dialogue? Wait, am I messing up left and right? Hold on. I did some shopping along the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the window in black paper and use the candles to light the room. That's very serene, actually. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be really neat. What's the wooden thing for, though? <clears throat> oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Okay. What flavor? What scent? Not flavor. What scent? What type of scent you got? How familiar? How familiar are you with aro aromatherapy? Actually, very. Not. To oh, this is why this particular type of pink fox is nothing like me, nor IRL pink fox. Pink fox is the one who helped actually loaned me the first batch of aromatherapy that I actually ever went through. If you count humidifiers, which. She was also very kind to buy me one as well. It's usually running, but it's out right now. So, meh. Anyway. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. I can second that. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. Combination of that and calming music does that big time. 
You can even feel it permeate through your body. Wow. For once, big words are not bothering my brain. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel like that could be a tongue twister, though. Big big words bother brains. Big words bother brains. Big words bother brains. Ah. Ah. What? Robert Robert talking with a twisted tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking with a twisted tongue unless it's this episode. <laughs> okay, probably not the whole episode, but. <laughs> Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. Just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. That that would be that would be a humidifier. Um. Wow, that smells wonderful. Actually. Ugh. Just for the sake of the- wait, does this still have some in it? It does. So my favorite type is lavender. My favorite. I am very tempted- you know what? Lavender is going into the thing and we are going to have aromatherapy going on. While I tongue twist myself to death and listen to all this. You know, when the liquids actually go in- oh jeez. Uh, my desk is also a ginormous mess right now. Okay, um, now that that's taken care of, wow, that smells wonderful. Yeah, I like the smell of lavender, so I agree. <laughs> I have no idea what she chose, though. I don't know, lemon, cinnamon, sugar, yes, that's a thing. Vanilla. Okay. Distilled water in the cup. The kind of water somehow helps your breath, but not your lungs. How that makes sense, I have no idea. I might have overfilled it a little bit, but eh, it's water. And it's not going to get anywhere. What else do you have to say, Yuri, while I'm doing this? This is a jasmine essential. Oh, oh, you you do jasmine. Okay, that's actually not a bad one either. Not my preferred, but I don't mind it at all. Oh, I forget. Jeez, me not me not being smart right now. Okay, me uh, wait. Which one's the controller's plug-in? Ah, gosh, dang it. I'm gonna take a wild guess. That was the... Of course, the one that I end up unplugging... We're just gonna put that, like, right... Meow. Right here. Y'all can't see it, but trust me, it's still running. And now the controller's about to go jank because I have way too many black cords in the area for some dang darn reason. Huh. You know what? That works. That does not work. Why is there another plug plugged in there? Who thought this was a good idea? Probably me. <laughs> there we go. Alright, onward. Thank you for your patience, Yuri. Now it's time to do the thing or the thing or the thing or the thing. Anyway. It smells a little uh, sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, since that's exactly what that is. <laughs> I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. I actually am going to move the humidifier back over here. I can't believe I didn't start the thing. It was like the game was telling me, hey, you forgot to do something. I get it. <laughs> you feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Okay. 
Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. Good. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper to f for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Okay. Oh yeah? Oops. What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. Yeah, I can see that. That's clever. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. You know how to catch an audience now, don't you? I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. I is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. She's blushing. Yuri, I've already got a girl. You ain't- no. Not to mention you're not real, but still. <laughs> is, is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Actually, let's be realistic, it's probably both. Here's a marker. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Wow. <laughs> um, excuse me, I do not have bad handwriting. My handwriting is the best thing I can I got. I can't seem to speak right when my tongue is twisted. That's probably why naturally it doesn't come that way. <laughs> why would... Who in their right mind would think a tongue would just come twisted naturally? New, new in addition in stores. Naturally twisted tongues. Replace your current tongue with a twisted one. Don't mind the gap. Only for seventy nine ninety nine a piece. Actually, that'd be very cheap compared to normal. I feel like if you were to get like a some kind of surgery on your tongue or something, it'd be a lot. No, it would be a lot more. Between the two, if something happened to your tongue, I'd rather get the twisted tongue. Ugh. Anyway, carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then, she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Huh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? They're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. I really don't. <laughs> to each their own, you know? I say that a lot, actually. Not a lot, a lot, like daily a lot, but whenever somebody has their own opinion, I'm like, eh, to each their own. If you promise you won't be worried, weird, oh, pfft, if you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. I'm not surprised. 
I'm not gonna judge that. Your character... The way your character's developed, that... First time I played it, I wasn't surprised. This time I played it, I'm still not surprised. It's never gonna surprise me. They're just... So pretty. I... I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsman's... The uh, craftsmanship? And feeling of danger, maybe? Ugh. What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. You really are not. I don't care what some people might think. That's not, That honestly is not weird. <laughs> You're laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's... Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. It does. It really does. Suits me? Yeah. It's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides... It's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. Wrong! Wait. Right! I have no room to sound normal no more. I'm pissed. This, this is the big my punishment. I'm going to be talking about this for five minutes straight while doing it. I take it and turn it around my, in my hand. It feels heavy and extremely solid. It's very hard to keep my tongue twisted while doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's because my jaw that's bad. It actually is doing something to my jaws. I don't know if it's good or bad though. Where can you get an knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of a knife from my index finger. That was a stupid idea! Ow! Ah, see? Pig Fox! Oh, shoot. Hold on. Rewind. Pig Fox! There we go. I'm much better. Okay, I'll stop. It's been a couple of minutes. I haven't been five, but close enough. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. Oh. She stares at it and noticeably... Fidgets. Why? If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Um. Does somebody who got? Does someone got a blood fetish or a finger fetish? I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh! Please forgive me! I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Uh, sure it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of her of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? <laughs> This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take your other hand and lick her index finger in turn. Then now we're even. Ah, ah, that feels, that really does feel weird after a while though. Pig Fox! D did you really just do that? Now we're even. <laughs> Yuri just looks at me 
like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for uh, the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Pink Fox. Yuri giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri called, calling me weird? I have no response to that. Yes, but she's talking the good type of weird, dude. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. Watch your knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. I know, I spaced out for a second. I'm turning into Yuri. I feel like she's rubbing off on me. Ah! It looks better than I expected. It will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water, okay? It's okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be di it'll be diluted. I can see that. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips. Then, bringing it back into my room, Yuri. Yes. I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh boy. Uh, nothing. Face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Wow. I don't think anybody's done a project in my mind with a gradient in years. Starting with the colors uh, for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it's dry, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, me. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so, after rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of my elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, 
I'm sorry if this feels so too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one person, only one other person. You know, deuce, one or two. That's like the most I'd ever want to do. Um, apparently someone, Smitty Kills, is on here now. It's somebody I'm friends with on the Switch. Actually, IRL too. I haven't seen, I haven't heard from them in a while though. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter. If we don't talk much, just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. Feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unusual paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ow! S Sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It, it just startled me. That's all. Sorry. I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is that something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry. It's totally my fault. I'll get this power right away. I'm gonna conquer myself in this few lines because that's my punishment. Peter Piper 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 A Piper 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 A Piper 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 At the end of that I wasn't even trying. I rush out and fetch a small towel. Then I dampen it with hot water. Okay, I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. Pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. It. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Actually, using hot water is better anyway. For the most part. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Um, oh, actually, it took me a moment down there. I actually did not notice that just beforehand. I'm pretty dang sure that wasn't like that before. That's a small detail to add, but that is kind of, I will admit, that is definitely um, interesting, to say the least. Kind of cool addition to add, though. Yeah? Just for a little longer. Feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine and oil giving me this dizzy feeling? No. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh -oh. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. Um, I actually don't think he would have minded that one, Yuri. It, it's fine. The moment 
time is over. It's over as soon as it begins. Yuri picks up her brush again. Well, now I'm going to be headed to Twisted Tongue. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Huh? <laughs> but her movements seem clumsier. Like she's unable to focus. I remain silent. Forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. Okay, that's true. Won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, you weren't. It's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about that, about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have an extra, have extra time after finishing the work. Well? Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. That's smart, actually. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So? I shouldn't be disappointed. Or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. <laughs> let alone someone she actually has a crush on. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well, then... Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. Don't we all? <laughs> About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over. Or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like do going out much. As I stumble over my words... Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Pink Fox. Yuri takes a step closer to me and briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Moment of silence. Also, your eyes are a little bit bloodshot. I mean, I know why, but... Anybody who has read this visual novel also knows why already, but anyway. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? Are you stupid? Yes, he is. But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Huh? Oh! Hi, Pink Fox! Sayori! Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Pink Fox. I just stopped it by to say hi. Uh, oh. Well, it's 
Nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Y yeah, so... I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sorry, waves goodbye after her. Sayori. And dialogue we've already read. <sighs> I'm sorry, Sayori, but I'm going to say this again. When I choose her route, that's when I'll say otherwise. And we've already seen this too, so... Okay, this part's different. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Okay. I'm so used to, like, sitting over on this end because Amber's usually here that it's like, eh. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way, about, same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Okay, now we're at the same dialogue. <sighs> Let's see, where are we on time? We, I'll go a little bit further because there's one specific reason. There's one very, very, very specific reason. It must be the ones she prepared. So, after what just happened, basically, for those who haven't seen the story progression, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now, instead of Natsuki, but you know. They must be the ones she's prepared. They have all the poems we're performing. Oh, because we saw the pamphlets. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. Plagiarism! Procrastination! Who cares, apparently? I'm surprised... I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That <laughs> dummy. You'd think that on days like this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you shouldn't take a little you should take a little responsibility for her pink fox. I mean, especially after you ch exchange your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned her down her confession? That part's probably a little bit different. But we'll find out soon enough. That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Do you? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Okay, that's creepy. Huh? Monica's being as friendly as usual. For some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. 
Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the ones she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Percent. Ah, oh, jeez. Can I just do this tongue twisted, please? Blink. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out. It's literally that. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Oh my gosh, how many times do you. Here, I'm gonna count this. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. She wrote this 40 times! Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Oh no. Oh no. We are going to save here. I'm going to have to show that to Amber now. And, uh... Let's exit DDLC really quick. Actually, I actually have two places I want to save that. Actually, no, because I just respawned. I reset here. So, yeah. Um, We're going to exit DDLC now. Hoping that nothing bad has happened. Do we have anything in the files, by the way? Oh, jeez. Is this supposed to be Sayori or something? Uh... Anything in here? No. Here? Ow! Oh. oh, that would have been helpful to know before I started mentally learning everything. Huh. Pictures? Nice. Oh, poems. Wait. You're a special poem. Okay. And Natsuki's special poem. But they also have like a third poem, apparently. Like a third normal poem that apparently I did not know about. So that comes from Natsuki and Yuri, but I never got a third poem from Sayori. So what about that? Aside from this one here, the one we just saw. Oh, and it saves these too. I wonder what this is supposed to be. So I wonder what this one and this one are. Probably the first three of one individual. The f I don't know. It's kind. Of, I don't know. Well, I'll f I'll f this is probably Sayori, and this is probably Sayori. Actually, what are the other ones though? And secrets. And oh, jeez. My bedroom. My kitchen. Where is Sayori gonna be helped at? Well, we'll find out later. We've got other stuff apparently we can see too. Like, so, no. Trust, understanding, respect, balance. We have a long ways to go before we end up hitting the, uh... Other stuff. I'm gonna leave this here for now, though. Uh, next time, and this was a bit lengthier. Just kind of like the finishing of, uh, Natsuki's. I guess I should have expected it. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. 
have a suggestion for a visual novel or horror game that you'd like to see on here, let me know in the comments below. Speaking of visual novels specifically, though, want to check out one we've done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner, try and take you to that destination. I promise it's not as freaky as this one. Or as mystifying, I guess. Whatever word you want to use. Um, or if you missed any of the stops on this ride so far, click the link across my head here. Train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch all of you in another ride. Bye!